Sadly, more and more people are receiving scam emails like this one purporting to be from Instagram. You can usually spot a fake Instagram email from the address the email was sent from. This one sent from Instagram.team immediately raises suspicions. What the scammers are hoping you'll do is click on the link to verify your account and enter your account details. Of course, the website that the link takes you to is not the official Instagram website. It's a fake one created by the scammers to capture your username and password. Hopefully this will never happen to you. However, if you do receive suspicious emails like this, there is now an easy way to check whether it's legit from within the Instagram app. In the app, click on your profile icon in the bottom right corner of the screen, followed by the menu icon in the top right. Click on settings in the menu, followed by security, and then choose emails from Instagram. Here under these two tabs is a list of all the official emails Instagram has legitimately sent you in the last 14 days. If the email you received is not displayed in this list, you can be confident that it's a scam and you should delete it. Or better still, report it as spam to your email provider, which will then blacklist the email address it was sent from before it gets deleted. So that is how to spot a fake Instagram email. If you missed my video demonstrating how to protect your account from hackers by setting up two-factor authentication, you might be interested in watching this. I recently did a video demonstrating how to secure your Instagram account. Of all the tips that I shared in that video, hands down the most important for protecting your account is to enable two-factor authentication, or 2FA to use the abbreviation. You could probably get away with ignoring all the other tips as long as you follow the steps in this video. So without any further waffle, this is how to enable two-factor authentication on your Instagram account. Start by clicking on your profile icon in the bottom corner of the window, followed by the menu icon in the top right corner. In the menu, click on settings, followed by security, and then choose two-factor authentication. After clicking on get started, we're presented with three options. If you don't use a 2FA app and you don't intend to, then choose either WhatsApp or SMS. However, you'll notice that using a two-factor authentication app is recommended as the safest option. For all of my 2FA accounts, I use an app called Authy. If you'd like to know why I chose Authy and how you can start using it, I'll link to a video below. But for now, I'll click on Authentication App. At this point, Instagram instructs us to download an app. But when I click on this option, all I get is this, which seems like a bit of a bug. I guess what Instagram is trying to do is open the App Store. If this is your first time setting up 2FA and you don't yet use a 2FA app, my recommendation is to come out of Instagram and go to the App Store, install your 2FA app separately, and then come back to this screen. As I said, I'm already using Authy, so all I need to do is click Set Up Another Way, which provides me with this key, which I can copy into my Authy app. I'll open up Authy, click on add new account and choose enter key manually. Now regardless of which 2FA app you decide to go with, whether it's Authy, Microsoft or Google Authenticator, entering a key or scanning a QR code is the standard process. So you should have similar options to what you see here in Authy. I'll paste my code and then I'll choose a logo and give my new 2FA account a name. The final step of syncing my Instagram account with Authy is to enter the next six digit code that appears in Authy. So I'll switch back, wait for the code to change, and then enter these six digits into Instagram. And there we have it, 2FA is now set up and you can be confident that your account is now protected against hackers. If we click next, Instagram will provide us with some backup codes. Screenshot or save these somewhere safe, because they will allow you to access your Instagram account should you ever accidentally delete your 2FA app. If I log out of Instagram and log back in, you can see I'm prompted for my 2FA code. Having set up 2FA, it's a good idea to log out of Instagram on any other device you might be logged into, such as your laptop, desktop, or tablet. To do this, head back into settings, click on security, and this time we're gonna click on login activity. Here is a list of all the devices where you're currently logged into Instagram. Log out of each one by clicking on the three dots and choosing log out. As the prompt warns, if you're not familiar with the session you're logging out of, if you don't recognize the location or the device, you should change your password. Remember, because we've set up 2FA, anyone else 
trying to log into your account from now on will need that 2FA code, which they won't have, so you are well protected. But if you don't recognize any of these sessions, you should definitely change your password. Visit the website for lots more tips on Instagram and all your favorite apps. And if you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick videos like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.